Hey traders, I uh, just want to shoot a video on how to set up custom hotkeys in any website really uh, that has a form. So in this case, TradingView. Uh, I think somebody asked the question on if it's possible to overwrite hotkeys in TradingView uh, for their, their, their just their general website. It's so like, you know, to reset this is Alt-R. Uh, I don't believe you can, but one thing I thought would be helpful if, if you pay attention to the depth of market here and the order size is I have hotkeys set up for different share sizes. So Alt-2 gets me 200, 300, 400 for different uh, hotkeys. And I just want to show you really quick how to set that up um, with an autofill Chrome extension. So you can search for this in the Chrome store. It's by Tohodo. And basically, I uh, just set up hotkeys to enter my share size um, on my charts, which is really handy if you want to get in and out quickly. Um, this used to work also really nicely for the order panel, but now it's all jacked up. And as you can see, it put all 400 everywhere. Um, but I used to be able to set some nice um, take profit and stop loss presets, uh, which doesn't work anymore. However, I've been using the depth of market more anyway on TradingView. Um, so the way you do it, it's real simple. For instance, I'll enter in a weird value here just so it's clear. So enter 123. And then I'll come over to um, the autofill app. And then I'm going to choose a profile. Let's create a new one. Let's call it just test. That's step two. Step three is to generate autofill rules. And I'll say it's done. And then I just come back to the app and I go to options. And you can see my profiles here. Test is uh, selected. And the value is 123. So what I'll do is change it to 456 just to test it out. And then the hot key I'll sign will be like, <clears throat> let's say Alt-0. Right, so hold on Alt-0 to sign that. Another thing I'll do is um, this chart is, or this website here is for this particular chart. If you want it to work on any chart, you just remove all that and hit save. Okay, and so now we'll test that out. Go back to our charts. It says 123, I'll hit Alt-0. And now it says 456. So you can set up multiples of these, but there's also one caveat, and that is that if you go um, with this profile currently um, active and you go to the order panel, it's gonna start entering four, five, six in all kinds of crazy places. So what I have is a profile called empty, which basically has no value. And that for myself is alt tilde. And tilde is just a key right next to the one key up on the top left. Uh, and as you can see, now that I hit Alt Tilde, I have no profile, and um, this this becomes uh, empty and doesn't get filled in. So it's just muscle memory to for me to go ahead and enter 100 shares, and then Alt Tilde after I've filled my order to manage um, a take profit and stop loss if if want if I need to do that. So to to do all that, um, just go after you create your first one, go to manage. And you could duplicate all these. So here's a test one. You just go duplicate. I, I, for some reason, if you duplicate multiples, it doesn't work. So duplicate one at a time and then adjust the values. But the one that needs to be different from all of them is the one I call empty. So let me go there and show you that I empty the value and I change this mode from overwrite to safe. And that just makes sure that it doesn't override anything that's already there so that when you go to the deal, uh, to the order panel, it doesn't overwrite anything. So I hope that helps. Uh, definitely helps me do quicker order entries on the charts, uh, and I hope it helps you too. Thanks.